Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to authenticate any user using Java and LDAP. So first of all, we need a user. So if you notice, I am already having a user and the DN of the user equal to CN equal to test and O equal to users because it is inside here and it is also inside the system. Here if you notice, the name is starting with CN equal to test. But for some user it will start with UID that does not matter always matter is what is the DN of that user. Now next question is what is the password and how we can set the password. So you can see I am already having a password section here if you don't have just click here new attribute and you can select from here if you go down you can see here user password is there. So I am already having now we need to set the password. So just click here new password. I'm going to enter the password as a one again one okay now you can see password has been created but we need to verify so just double click go to the current password last time I entered the password as a one now verify you can see password verified successfully if I will enter any random thing it will show the invalid password that means we already have a user the CN equal to test and the password is one now we need to write a method that will validate our user so let's move to the Java section so we need to write a method that method will return the boolean value if the user is valid we are going to return as a true else we will return the false so I am going to make method as a public a static you can change according to uses and that will return the as a boolean and the method name will be auth user okay here I am going to pass two variable first one will be a string username and a string password so if you are following our series you already know we are already using one connection code so i'm just going to use the same connection code i will just modify only little bit but before that i need a try catch block okay now copy paste so here if you notice we are using initial contact factory as a JNDI second one is provider URL so this is my localhost LDAP database and this is our security principle so here we need to pass our username okay and credential means we are going to pass as a password now what we need to do we have to create a directory context object it will go and create the connection and so it will be new initial directory context here I'm going to pass our properties okay now if the connection will be successful we need to close our connection and after that we need to return as a true right so in case if it will be invalid we need to return as a false so before that I need to print our exception also so e dot get message okay so this is our method that method will be authenticate the user so now we need to use so go down just comment our old code now so before that I need to print like either it will be true or false we need to check so auth user so we need to pass username and password so if you remember the cn equal to test so what I need to do just I need to put the name as a test and the password was one right so what will be happen if you are going to run this so if you notice this is our CN and this is the password right so just run if you run you can see it is showing by failed invalid authentication right and it is showing true because we have missed here as a false okay now just run right this is LDAP error invalid credential so why it is happening so if you notice previously this is our principle that means you have to enter the DN of that user so previously 
uid equal to admin right so if you see here this was the tn right and this tn and whatever we have used earlier tn that was same so that's why it was working fine but we just enter only here like test so how our code will be know like okay from where i need to search the user so how you can do this is the tn right just copy whole thing okay come back and just paste here okay so this is a static now we need to make as a dynamic so just use username okay now it is dynamic why i have done because whenever we are going to search any user or we need to authenticate we have to enter the dn of that user so our dn was starting with cn equal to test and this name i'm going to pass the dynamically now just run this program now you can see it is showing true that means the user is valid so how we get cross checked let's play with the different password now just run it have to return as a false right you can see false and cannot authenticate the user this is the cn of that user right so this cn and this cn is same so there is a chance like you can get this place error please make sure the dn of that user will be correct so how you can find any user dn just select the user and you can see the dn on the top side so in next tutorial we are going to learn how to change the password using java code